Well, hey, what's up, everybody? So, my name is Russ with RWGResearch.com. Today, I want to show you something uh, with 3D printing and nylon. So, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what I could print on on the bed because nothing I tried nylon would stick to. I couldn't even get nylon to stick to nylon very well. Maybe it's a different type. I don't know. But I'm going to show you what I did use, and I want to show you how I went through this process, and maybe it will help somebody out there. But I did find something, and it sticks extremely well, and I have no idea if anyone has used this yet, and so I want to try to get this information out there for people to use. All right? So let's get started. Okay, so here it is. This is just a finished part, and this is the material that I have figured out that actually works really well to be printing on. And uh, get you a close up of this so you can really see what it is. And it's really hard to see, but I can tell you one thing it's really, really fragile. I, I bent it a little bit to try to, uh, actually, I don't even remember why, but I cracked it all the way in half, all the way through this puppy, and ended up just putting a piece of tape on the back side and just uh, leaving the surface as it is. I did not sand this, I did not do anything to this. This is exactly the way it was. Here is another chunk, another piece of the same material, but this is really thick and it's not quite as uh, flexible. Uh, matter of fact, this stuff is extremely hard and uh, it's really good. So, uh, what is it? It's this stuff. And I don't ask me, I can't pronounce it. And uh, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different grades. Um, so you have to do some homework um, and find out what kind of uh, material works because honestly this material came out of my plastics bin and I'll explain to you why this came out of my plastics bin. But this is the material and you can find it online and this is electrical grade alright so it's something really similar to this and it's some sort of a polymer resin slash wood combination okay and the only places I could really find this stuff is uh, um, from foreign places so you just have to look around I think you have to buy it in sheets if you find it really thick like this it's very expensive so I don't know how practical this is maybe someone's figured out a better way but this came out of an old piece of an electrical equipment and that's why I'm using it so let me set the camera up and I'll show you the process I went through and then I'll show you how well that this piece is uh, stuck on here. Oh, and by the way, I'm using um, Talium 618, 618 nylon for this guy from uh, Octave in this case. So that's the actual material that I'm, that I'm showing you that sticks well. Alright. Okay, so I've got my hot end heated up and uh, you can't see this but I can uh, manually turn this guy up here and extrude out this plastic um, now currently I'm actually sitting at about 234 degrees Celsius um, I usually print at 230 actually I need to turn that up a little bit I'll turn it up to about Actually, that's about right. I'll do 238. Most people have been printing at like 240 to 245 to 250 C. And uh, I'm going to crank it up to 245, but I found out that printing at about 230, uh, yeah, 230, I believe, 235, excuse me, seems to work very well. So let's let's see. Alright, so here's what I did. I just, again, that plastic's bin I showed you, I just grabbed a random piece of plastic. Now, this is not heated right now, it's just normal, but I figured if I can get it to stick normally, then it'll stick while it's hot. So basically what I did is I just uh, extruded this out manually. You can even do this with the computer. As I ran it across the surface, like that all right just to see if this stuff would stick so you can see here this stuff uh, it just peels right off it, it's never gonna stick to that so just for fun let's test a piece of this uh, 
this fiberglass material because I, I didn't. Let's see if it sticks to this. This is a fiberglass electrical insulator board. It appears that it sticks fairly well to that already. Eh, no, maybe not. Okay, that didn't stick very well. So let's try this board because I know this uh, this does work pretty well. Let's try it. This stuff's a messy, man. Nylon, stringy, worse than hot glue. Okay, cool this thing down. Maybe. Oh, well, I'll leave it for a second. Okay, so let's try this. All right, there you go. I can't. I have a really hard time peeling that off. See that? It sticks really well, and it's not even hot. It's cold, so you could print on cold. So that is the method that I took to actually. Um, test what works and what doesn't and like I said I tested everything in this stack right here all sorts of plastics other electrical insulators um, nylon Teflon um, I got some uh, um, other stuff clear stuff flexible stuff acrylics I mean I couldn't get it to stick to anything so let me show you how uh, how nicely this comes off. So I'm gonna, you can see right here that that piece is flexible. Actually it's very flexible and that hasn't caused me a problem but if you can get this stuff in a uh, little thinner than this but uh, thicker than this it'd probably be good. So the way I figured out how to get this off is just get under it a little bit. And once you get under it a little bit then you can peel it off. And this has been sitting on there for several hours. Here comes some more hot stuff. So, there you go. That is the best stuff that I know that nylon sticks to to print on. I have no idea what other people are using, but this stuff is amazing. The only tips that I can give you is make sure that your hot end really gets close to this stuff so it adheres well. If it's even a little bit above where it's just putting the plastic on and not really extruding it at the actual layer height it's supposed to, it will not stick well. It has to be extruded at the layer height it's supposed to be. And uh, then it should work just fine. So give it a go. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, again, I don't know the exact make, model, brand type shape. I don't know what this material really actually is, but I know it is that um, this particular special type of, of board. So you can see here it's a uh, it's a paper based laminate sheet. So try all sorts of stuff. I was actually going to get a piece of regular tabletop laminate and try the back of it but I just couldn't find any yet. So anyway. Alright well let me know if this helps you guys. I hope it does. I think it will and uh, good luck printing nylon. I got more tips and trick videos or at least my run through of uh, all the troubles I had printing nylon and uh, I got lots of other videos on that so coming up temperatures this that all sorts of stuff so if you wanna learn how to do nylon maybe these videos will help you alright God bless you guys have a good day bye just when you thought it was over I wanted to do one more thing for this video because some of you are gonna tell me that circuit boards are made of the exact same material and some of them are but the thing is, is I believe I tested these and it didn't work. So I know I tested this guy and it didn't work. So let's test uh, this guy and this guy. Three different versions of uh, electrical circuit boards. We can even try the copper side and see if these actually do their job. Because it is the same material, they're manufactured in the same way, and some of them, some of them are probably the same material. Because this is actually the same style as this.
All right. So here's the here's the first one. And as you can see, it just falls right off. It's the same same stuff. But it just falls off. <laughs> no good. Let's try the uh, second one. Uh, that looks a lot better. Check it out. That's actually that's actually fairly well. I think maybe if you roughed this up a little bit, that would stick decently. The clear, the clearish type. Oh no, that doesn't really stick at all. See, so even though some of this stuff's the same material, it may not work. Let's try. Uh, let's try the copper side, and it could need to be heated, but it's just for fun. Yeah, it just falls off. <laughs> so, there you go. In case you were wondering, even though that the, uh, that this material could be labeled as the same as what I've got on my bed, don't be fooled. Make sure you get the right stuff. Good luck.